Hey folks, it's Greg and Janet. We'd like to welcome you to another episode of our epic Route 66 adventure. It's gonna be fun. Let's get started. Strange RV tours will take you places With Greg and Janet's smiling faces You might see a crazy flavored soda review or some tips to fix your RV too. So come along, won't you join us, friend? As we discover what's around the bend. Just sit right back in your easy chair. Strange RV Tours is on the air. Strange RV Tours is on the air. All right, let's head to Walnut Canyon National Monument. Okay, we're at the Walnut Canyon National Monument. Uh, we can only take the rim trail at this time. The island trail is closed. So, we are here and we're gonna be walking around and see if we can see some cliff dwellings, okay? The, the, the Walnut Canyon National Monument was established by President Woodward, Woodrow Wilson in 1915. It was maintained by the U.S. Forest Service before that. And it's now part of the National Park Service, 1934. It's like 3,600 acres. So, it is beautiful. Just mm, absolutely gorgeous. I can see some people walking back. I see some rails. Oh, there they are. Yeah, I see rails over there. Yeah. Down here. You see? Sure. Wow. Uh, wow. It's beautiful. Yeah, you can actually see stonework. Uh huh. Underneath some of them down here. Right down here. Underneath the trail. Mm hmm. And see, there's a flat place carved out over there. That's what I thought they may be over there, but... But you can see all the way, see the handrails, and then past that, you see staircases. See staircases. Yeah, that's awesome. It's a shame it's closed already. Yeah. Neat. I had no idea these were here. Me either. And they said the Hawaii, 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 I can't say it, Hawaii pie. The Hopi and the Navajo. I wonder where that trail starts. It must start over there. Yeah. yeah. Wow. How nice. What a day. Hey, that's beautiful. The canyon goes on down. Wow. Years and years of the runoff. Beautiful. Yeah, I can see stairs going down. Lots of stairs going down. Yeah, you see, in between these trees, I can see them. Can you see how they come? They're pretty steep. Pretty neat.
can see the picture of the cliff dwellings here. Yeah, just above that bush there. See ya. There's a bunch over here. far down. Be a chore to get a bucket of water, wouldn't it? Do not enter. No entry. This is the Indian swimming pool. <laughs> Digging in. Okay. What is it really? It's the it's a house. They see how they build a house. Oh, okay. Keep it out of the wind. Yeah. Makes sense. Pit houses. Down there though. Oh, a ladder. Yeah. It's one way to keep the kids from leaving. So this site was excavated, stabilized, and partially reconstructed. I said it looked really good, huh? That might mean that there was one stone here and they just added the rest up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're so bad. <sighs> yeah. That's the vent area over there. There you go. It actually says that on here. It's a vent area. Yeah. Of course. But, hey, Jan. What? Home, home prices. I bet we can get this spot for half a million. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Cool. Let's see. Yeah. You can tell it's been repacked. Different colors of material, that type of thing. But this is a big room. It really is. I wonder if the most prominent people, like the chiefs or whatever, were up here and or oh. if they were just totally different tribes or you know sectors i don't know we're on our way to check out the walnut canyon bridge We are on Winona Road in Flagstaff, Arizona. And this is a historic bridge. It's the Walnut Canyon Bridge. Construction of this bridge was part of the improvements to the National Old Trails Road between Flagstaff and Winslow. Construction started in 1922 and was completed in 1924. So it took two years to build this bridge and today, 97 years later, it's still standing. That's cool. This little narrow bridge, it may look big to you guys on the camera, but it's really not. It's a, a very narrow two lane road, uh, carried Route 66 traffic across this gorge here and it looks like uh, there's been a few people that have hit the rails how cool huh the new bridge is right over here across from it, right next to it. You'll see a car go flying over here in a second. There we go. Wow, a neat road. Woo, this place, this, uh, these beams up here have been hit a few times too. 
They've carried some loads across here that were just a wee bit too tall. Isn't that neat? Here is the bridge's historical marker. Next up is Twin Arrows Trading Post. We're just outside of Flagstaff, Arizona, and we are at the Twin Arrows Trading Post. What used to be the Twin Arrows Trading Post. And they made these two large arrows out of telephone poles to attract visitors. I remember when I was a kid begging my dad to pull over so I could go to this place. I just knew that there was some cowboys inside this place and they were holding Indians captive. The other one's missing. Right. It's somebody missing. somebody took it off. Yeah. Somebody took the the arrow head off of this arrow. It used to be here when I was a kid. Looked just like this one. Right over here was their gas pumps. At least this was the side for their truck gas pumps, it looks like. Yeah, diesel pumps. Sure enough. Not much left of the gas pumps either. Looks like a holding tank built into the ground out of concrete or something. I don't know. I don't know what it would have housed. Can't imagine them uh, keeping gas in it. But who knows? I would actually consider climbing up those uh, ladders, but it looks like they have cameras up there. Get myself in trouble. I wonder what those are sunk into the ground for. Wow, interesting. All righty, we're gonna head over to this uh, old trading post. You know, when I was a kid coming across this area, every year my family would travel from California to Arkansas to see family and back, and we would take Route 66 or I-40 of, you know, what was, we would take parts of Route 66 because not all of it had been decertified yet. And anytime you're seven, eight, nine years old, and you've been looking out the car window for you know four or five hours going through the desert or going through an area where there's nothing but brush and you see two big giant arrows sticking in the ground and you see a place that uh, might have candy or cokes or sodas or something you get so excited i'd tell my father oh please stop please stop and if we needed gas he would but if we didn't need gas i had no chance all right now i don't know what this area was back here actually looks like uh they may have had some rooms to rent for a while yeah this is definitely a a dwelling was it was built in 1950 to capitalize on the post world war tourism boom it was originally called the canyon padre trace trading post Gene and William Troxel 
acquired the property in 1954 and renamed it Twin Arrows and added the signature arrows made from telephone poles. This place was in business all the way up until 1995. And if you've ever seen the movie Forrest Gump, you've seen this building because it was in the movie. Man, this is a dark and dreary little hole back here. There's a lot of little dwellings and, and holes and buildings and all kinds of weird stuff here. Spooky. No way in the world am I lifting that toilet lid. Don't worry, I'll go in these buildings too. I just want to get around to the front. Yeah, let's check it out. This would have been the primary sales area for the trading post. Got shelves in here. And man, you really have to watch where you step in here. There's, there's stuff that uh, will stick in your shoe and foot everywhere. Okay. Wow. Look at this place. It is there's just nothing left here. <laughs> Small victories, people. My goodness. place is just dreary in decline has been here <laughs> in decline and here's one of their stickers we've done two videos on the artist group in decline one of them was the wheel of misfortune and the other one was the giant beer can in the desert it's a group of urban artists that take things like water towers and paint them into like beer cans with unusual sayings or slogans on them. Um, the Wheel of Misfortune was a big round um, concrete, looked almost like a swimming pool that was used in a mining process that they turned into a giant roulette wheel. Neat. This is that, uh, room that the ceiling was collapsing in how cool fireplace over there Uh oh, we got a pentagram on the floor here. That's not good. It's a shame that this place is in such bad shape. It is fun to go through, but I would much rather pull up to this place and it still be a trading post and be able to go inside and see all the Indian wares it looks like that was their uh, septic system yikes <laughs> it 
So I finally get got to stop at uh, Twin Arrows. Been wanting to do this since I was a kid. And now there's nothing left of it. Except memories. And I've got good memories. Lots of good memories. This is the front of Twin Arrows. What's left of it. This was the cafe. You can see the cafe sign above the, the roof line there. And this was the main trading post here in front of us. And right over here was their vehicle pumps. This may have been some type of a uh, fruit stand or something that they had here. We'd like to thank you for coming along on this little adventure with us. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, the subscribe button. Please hit the little bell up in the corner. Please share these videos. Check out our Patreon site. And until next time, you guys have a wonderful day.